Beloved, welcome to this session of the Missions and Nations Awakening Conference. Hosted by Chimdi and Funka Ohahuna. Every child of God is sent by Christ Jesus to the world to preach the gospel, as such every believer is a missionary by the Great Commission. The Bible says, and Christ Jesus said to them, as you go into all the world, preach openly the wonderful news of the gospel to the entire human race. Whoever believes the good news and is baptized will be saved, and whoever does not believe the good news will be condemned. Mark 16 15-16. Sit back and listen to this next section of the teaching titled, The Art of Selling and Advertising. Jesus is Lord. They told the story of the when they walked miles and they finally arrived at Nain and the woman, the widow who has son died. And Jesus stopped the procession and touched the coffin. And the boy, and he told the boy, stand up and the boy said, Oh, they told the story of Jairus. They have many stories to tell. And because they are not the ones doing the preach, doing the work of conviction, while they were telling stories, the one who convicts men was convicting men. Yes. But today, we have a lot of style, but we lack conviction. I wish we could have more stories than we have. I wish we could, we could, we could, we could be witnesses in this. Because what witness do is they tell stories. The word witness there, one of the meaning of the word witness is, is, to, is, to, tell, is to tell a story, to tell something about, to say about what happened. I get what I'm saying. Huh? Witnesses are storytellers. They tell what happened, the, 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 the event that happened at every other. How wish we could be witnesses in that which we could tell the stories of Jesus. But we have used grammar and plenty, plenty, plenty complication to make storytelling look like it's boring. But what brought the power to the disciples was storytelling. Jesus is the story we have to tell. Yes. He's the story we have to tell. So if we cannot tell the story of Jesus, if we cannot tell Jesus our story, if we cannot tell our story called Jesus, then what are we doing? As I belong to hear Jesus, you cannot you cannot ask to Jesus. You cannot ask Jesus. These salesmen went all out. They threw their lives away to go out. They lost everything to go out. They went, some of them were, so, one of them, Peter was crucified upside down. Another of them was crucified upside down. One was sold into two. One was dragged by a horse till he died. Paul was beheaded. Died gruesome death. Why? Because he had a story to tell. Just a story to tell. Just a story to tell. Not a sermon to give. Not an exegesis to give. A story to tell. How I wish, how I cry, that we will come back to Moi, which is telling the story of Jesus. How we so desire that we come back to what it was from the beginning, which was telling the story of Jesus. Jesus is not just our message, Jesus is our story. Yes. Ah, how I wish we can come back to that place. Because now we have so many things. When you go into Bible school, you go into theology, there's so much. Christ- Christology, the Christology said, is he even telling the story of Jesus? Christology may even be complicating Jesus for the simple man to hear, to understand. Homiletics, hermeneutics, different, different, in different, different terms. But what these guys gave was just a story we had to tell. Just a story we had to tell. That is why unlearned men will take the world by storm. Because they just have a story to tell. Even images can tell stories. You don't need a degree to be a storyteller. That is why illiterates like Peter could tell the story. <laughs> you don't need a law degree to present your case. That is why 
tax collectors will tell the story. Hmm. You don't need to be a marketer to get a degree in marketing to be able to tell the story. After all, I studied accounting and I did well in marketing. So what are you saying? You don't need a degree in marketing to tell the story. All you need is to just tell the story. That's the song my mom used to sing. Tell it far and wide. Tell it far and wide. Telling the story of Jesus and telling the story of Jesus. That Jesus came, he died for my sin. He died for your sin. He did not do any sin, but he came to die for your sin. And he resurrected so that you will go to him. What a simple story to tell. This simple story I just told carries the saving power of Jesus. We don't need an exegesis. We don't need this approach to tell people that Jesus died and resurrected. Secret to the preceding, Jesus wants salvation to get to every sinner. That is why he gave us the tax to advertise and sell it for free to every sinner. Matthew chapter 10 verse 8 says, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, Freely he had received. Freely give. That is why they could not understand in this mission field why we're giving freely. Why will you rent a facility like this with this amount of money and be getting people to come and you are giving them the gospel for free? Turn their head and collect the money back. I didn't come to make money. The father's business is not a secular business. Freely you have received. Freely. is put on the message of salvation. It's no longer the message of salvation. It has become a man's personal business. Even story books, you can download them free online. <laughs> you can download them free online. Story books, you can download them free online. Then why should I now have the gospel and make it unnecessary? This free gift. Freely have you received. Freely give. Oh, Shatalaba, 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 Shatalaba. Ah, Isaiah 52, verse 7 says, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings. That publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that seeth unto Zion, thy God reigns. This we are called to do. Nothing less than this. There are people who are living out there. They need to hear that Jesus died for them. Lord, we have been saying, Lord, give us resources. We will publish the gospel more. We will publish the gospel more. It's costing us to go online, to stay online with publishing the gospel. But we are joyful doing this. Why? Because this is our reciprocate act of love. I don't know who is listening to me that is about to die in sin. And that message will just tell him right. It's more pastor cannot preach, but you can tell story. You can tell story. Who cannot tell story? Even my little daughter tells story. Who cannot tell story, sir? Everybody can tell story. Say, I cannot, I, cannot, I, cannot, I cannot preach. Who told you preach means to organize an exegetical and then a, 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 methodological sermon. Who told you that's what it means to preach? That's not what it means to preach. Tell the story of Jesus. That is what it means to preach. The Great Commission is tell the story of Jesus. Tell the story. Even children tell the story. Oh! Tell somebody the story of Jesus. Jesus was walking one day. And as he was walking, the crowd was with him. And as they were going, suddenly he stopped. And he said, Virtue, who touched me? And Peter asked, Come on, how can you say who touched you? 
we have all been with you. That means people have been touching you. We yourself have been touching you. Jesus said, no, somebody touched me. This is a special touch. They said, they said why do you say so? Okay, Peter said, no, nah, I touched you. Why do you say that? Okay, I touched you because of you. He said, no, virtue has left me. That means there have been other touches, but this touch is a touch that takes virtue. <laughs> and the woman stopped and she said, No, I have had an issue of blood for 12 years. Gone to different doctors, nobody can save me. She said, But I heard we were passing by. And I said, If I can just touch the hem of his garment, and I'll be made whole. And Jesus said, Go, thy faith and made whole. Beautiful story. Do you know who this can change? This can change a thousand people, yes. a million, a billion people. Yes. As simple as it is, that is where the power of God lies in. The power of God is not in our complications we put in the gospel, it's in the simplicity of the gospel. Talking the story called Jesus. Without our partnership, despite the reproving of the Holy Spirit, the great salvation will not be received by many. Very important. The Holy Spirit is reproving men of sin, unrighteousness, and judgment. Yes, he's doing that. But without us partnering with him to go and tell people about Jesus, many will not still receive this great salvation. So we are making the efforts of the Holy Spirit go on without producing the commission results. Now this is what makes us see how important we are in this partnership. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. We are also very important because if we do not play our role, the Holy Spirit will still be reproving. He has been poured on all flesh. He is reproving, but yet, despite the reproving, this person cannot come to terms with salvation because you have refused to talk to that person. So you are indirectly making the product of salvation a wasted product. Far be it from me. Amen. And that would be my question. Yes, Lord. Oh, how we cry. For, for saints who we say, Lord, in my time, I will make good your efforts. In my neighborhood, in my vicinity, I will do something. I will tell a story about Jesus. Like the song says, if you cannot preach like Paul, you can tell the little children. If you cannot preach like Paul, you can tell, you can tell them stories. You can, you can tell children, so you can get them saved. You can't, you can't tell me that there's nothing you can do. There's something we can do. We always have something we can do. There's something we can do. We can reach out to the children. We can reach out to the teenagers. We can tell them the story. They like stories. Tell them the stories. You can call for a full day of storytelling and just tell them stories about Jesus. They like the stories. And when you tell them stories about Jesus, to the other couple, you will, not, you will see they will receive Jesus. It's easy for you to get them saved. So nobody can say, I cannot preach. No. Nobody can say, I cannot do this great commission. No. Everybody can do it. So why the Holy Spirit reproves the world, we have to publish the world so, this, so that salvation can be received. You see that? Why the Holy Spirit reproves the world, we have to do what? Publish the world so that salvation can be received. So salvation is the end product of the combination between the reproving of the world by the Holy Spirit and the publication of the world by the saints. Well, the reproving of the world by the Holy Spirit adds up to we the same publishing the world. Salvation becomes the end result for the sinner. He receives it. So remove our path from it. It still makes it a long job. That means we not expect only those to jump us and go to the world sinner. That's kind of a long journey. We have to sure that if we can do the job. So go ye is the command for all believers because we are partners with God. We are partners with God. We must see this as partnership. We have seen it as stress before. That is why we are not doing it. But this is an awakening. We must see it as it's meant to be. It is partnership. If we don't partner, we allow the Holy Spirit to take a longer journey. Yes, the Holy Spirit convicts people on their own, but it's a longer journey. He has to jump us to go. Every time the Holy Spirit jumped and went to convict somebody directly, the person had an encounter, it was because somebody that was meant to publish the word to that person felt that he starts. 
Yeah. He failed at his tax. So the Holy Spirit had to do what his own tax and the person's tax. Why would God do the Holy Spirit? He's our help. He's our help. He's our help. We are partners. And we must see the great commission as the greatest partnership that can ever be offered to the world. This is the greatest partnership. You can never get it wrong. We must understand this and we must give our all to this partnership. We are praying that Lord, the grace to play my part in this partnership, I receive and maximize that grace in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and open. out there, you've not made Jesus your Lord and personal Savior, um, I would want to invite you to make this decision. It's the best decision you can make in your life. And I encourage you to do it. Now, if you want to make this decision, please say this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I know that I'm a sinner. I know that you died for me. And on Calvary's tree, you shed your blood to take away my sins. Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. I make you my Lord and personal Savior. Because you chose me, I choose to serve and follow you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray for you, Lord. I pray for everyone who has made this decision. Thank you for receiving them in the beloved. And thank you for giving them the grace to serve and follow you all the days of their life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. For your love gift of any amount to Grace Life Kami Podcast, kindly use any of our giving channels available to give in dollars. You can send to Universal Merchant Bank Ghana. Account number 033-154-551-2013. Swift code M B G H G H A C to give in CDs. Universal Merchant Bank Ghana. You can send to account number. 033-254-551-2017 To give in Naira, you can send to Ecobank Nigeria, account number 554-102-0592 Also, for further enquiries, you can call us on plus 233-54594-7132 OR, send us an email via chimdiohahunaministry at gmail.com Today, remain ever blessed. Wow. Beloved, thanks for listening to Grace Life Komi Podcasts. We believe that you've been blessed via this episode. We request that you also remain connected to us via our other social media handles on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and YouTube. We are Grace Life Komi on all these platforms. Also, for more information about the ministry of Pastor Chimdi and Funke Oahuna, kindly visit chimdioahunaministry.org. You can also send us your requests and testimonies via email today through chimdioahunaministry at gmail.com. We are dedicated to feeding your spirit man with spiritual meals that we edify, equip, and engender your growth in the knowledge of God. Remain connected to Grace Life Komi. God bless you. Jesus is Lord.